This is the structure of an HTML page. It starts with doc type declaration. It tells the browser that the document is an HTML document. Although in HTML5, the doc type declaration is not mandatory, however, it is a standard practice to add it. Notice carefully, there are many words enclosed by angle brackets here. They are called tags. So what tags actually are? Why do we use them? Tags are special keywords that tell the browser what to do. An example will help you understand better. For that, let us go to a website named example.com. We can see a header here says example domain and a paragraph. Here is a link too. This is an HTML page. To see the HTML codes those are generating this page, we have to right click on the page then click on view page source here it is this is the HTML that is creating this output it may seem little complex but do not worry I'm going to make it absolutely clear at first focus on h1 tag the name of this tag is heading tag after h1 tag there is a text example domain the heading tag is telling the browser to make this text large and bold. At the end, there is the same tag. This time, there is a slash after the angle bracket. It means the heading tag ends here. The first one is opening tag. It is also known as the starting tag. And the second one is closing tag. It is also known as ending tag let us take another look opening tags have angle brackets around them and closing tag have a slash after the first angle bracket so you understand what tags do tags tell the browser how to handle the HTML data the opening HTML tag tells the browser that the document starts from here. The closing HTML tag tells the browser that the HTML document ends here. The head tag contains the necessary information for the browser and search engines. For example, notice the text inside the title tag. It is not visible on the web page. However, if you look at the tab, you will see the title of this page. This is title for the search engine too. Then there are meta tags. Meta tags are used to represent metadata. Metadata are the data about the data. Interesting, isn't it? Metadata will not be displayed on the web page. They are machine parsable. They provide information such as page description, keywords, author name, date of last modification, and other information to browsers and search engines. In this example website, the first meta tag is specifying the UTF-8 character set for these documents. The second meta tag is providing information about the type of the document which is HTML and text. Then another meta tag is telling the browser about the width and initial scale of the document. We will not learn details about the meta tag now, it will be covered later on. After the meta tag, there is a style tag. It is actually a part of cascading style shades commonly known as CSS. It tells the browser about the style of the HTML document. We have an entire lesson on CSS. That is why I'm skipping the details for now. Let us focus on body tag now. Whatever we see in the web page as a user is inside the body tag. 
Right after the opening body tag, here is the div tag. The div tag represents a division. This is the division created by this tag. The heading tag here is creating this large and bold text. After that, a paragraph tag has been used. This tag is creating this nice paragraph of this document. Finally, a link has been created inside another paragraph using anchor tag. Anchor tag tells the browser which part of the document is a link. Here is the link created by this tag. So far, we have seen from where the header, text, and link are coming from. However, you may ask question about this background color and nice curvy box. Although this is too early to talk about CSS, I like to answer this question. The background color, the box enclosing this division are coming from the style defined in the head. This section is specifying the background color and I believe you have guessed that the box is coming from here. We will learn everything about styling in our CSS lesson and we will create eye-catching designs. For now, let's recap the structure of HTML. It starts with the doc type declaration, then the opening and closing HTML tag encloses the entire document. Then we have the head and the body. The head contains the instruction for the browser and the body contains whatever we see on the web page. All right. We have learned enough about the structure. It is time to create an HTML page on our own. I guess you are very excited about it. Let's go to the next section, which is creating the first web page, and I'll see you there.